Welcome back to the channel. My name is Avon and today I want to discuss the anime Natoju no Susume, aka Recommendation of the Virtual Life or Recovery of an MMO Junkie. For some reason it has two titles. I don't know how that works. Anywho, the manga was developed and written by Rin Kokuyo and was released as a web manga on a Comico app. It eventually became an anime directed by Kazuyoshi Yakanuma and animated by Signal.md with 10 episodes and followed by an OVA episode. The story begins with a woman by the name of Moriko Morioka, a 30-year-old woman who decided to quit her stressful job and become a neat by devoting her life to an MMORPG, Fruits de Mer, and creates a male avatar by the name of Hayashi who then encounters a character by the name of Lily. Now there will not be any spoilers in this video, so don't worry about that. Story-wise, now it may not sound as epic or interesting as to some, but I continue to watch it anyway with the exception of what it is trying to tell the audience. As I continue to watch, no spoilers, we dwell into Morikas Morioka's Sorry, her name is quite peculiar. Morioka's character. And as we learn beyond her social awkwardness and a lack of self-confidence to actually go outside besides the occasional grocery shopping, she not only builds self-confidence, but she also begins to learn and understand the value of friendship, not because of the confidence, but through an online video game. Now, allowing her to meet and create new friends. Now, as a gamer, I can completely relate to this. I suggest this anime to not only comedy fans, but gamer fans alike. And as well as those who lack the confidence or just understand the well, the being of confidence and maybe you just want to check this out and see for yourselves. Now, um, I have not yet to seen any other reviews or any other thoughts or opinions in this video, but I tried to stay away from it because they turned out to be negative. Um, at least I don't know because I didn't really see it. Anyway, um, let me go in depth about this. So first of all, friendship is constantly being displayed in this anime. Morioka is realizing not only that she can meet so many wonderful people and be this person online in an online video game, but because of that, she meets all these wonderful people. And it just builds her self-confidence and realize, you know what? Maybe I don't need to, like, seal myself in the video game as much as we often love to make fun of the idea that we like to sit and play hours and hours on end. But it, them, there's some wonderful people out there. And it's all because of a video game. Now, I don't want to go into spoilers again, but I'm just going to say this. For every episode you watch this... And every episode you dwell into her character and the other characters in the show, you start to realize that not only that they play the same game together, but Morioka actually knows these people, but she has no idea about it. And she begins to realize that, holy crap, I actually know these people, but I didn't know that they play the same game as I do. But if they realize if I play the same game, what would they think of me? Like I said, this she built self it, the show teaches to build self confidence into yourself that you should actually just that, that there's actually meaningful friendships and meaningful really really anything meaningful inside of a video game and those stereotypes well they can go screw themselves anyway thank you for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed this now i know i don't do anime here often but i do plan on doing more of it and also film as well now that will be for me my instagram and my twitter will be in the description below i don't use facebook anymore so don't bother with that and i'll catch you guys next friday